Marcus Rashford in at the last minute and a first ever start for 19 year old left back Joe Riley who came on as substitute in that cup win at Shrewsbury with Chris Smalling out with a shoulder injury Michael Caron Carrick is given one of his occasional shifts as an emergency central defender otherwise it's the team which eased into the FA Cup quarterfinals in Shropshire and he will strengthen the side banned last week the experienced Danish international Tolson in midfield he played in the World Cup in 2010 and in Euro 2012 there's one other change from last Thursday the Costa Rican World Cup striker Marco Ureña a real live wire when he came on in Denmark starts this time at the expense of the Croatian Martin Pusic the danger man Pione Sisto has scored in Michelin's last two Europa League games going for this not thinking about tiredness now then Rashford Rashford well nearly a dream debut goal good save from the former Reading goalkeeper Anderson yeah it was a good save but it's a nice little bit of play from Rashford just a little step over smacks it between one or two things Carrick overran the ball it worked all right in the end mind you Lovely little touch from Rashford, came to Mata. And Novak, oh, well, that nearly deflected off Lingard into the net. Now, it would have been a free goal. And that might have been Murphy's Law working the other way round against Michelin. Well, it was a little bit of luck from Manchester United. Michael Carrick giving the ball away and it ricocheting into a great position for Mata. Yeah, no trophy in three of the last four seasons for Manchester United, so... Any competition is really important at the moment. Is Ureña. Might be something here. Sisto! Oh, yes! It's him again! Pione Sisto, the danger man, delivers! And Manchester United are in big trouble now. Sucker punch, wasn't it? Well, this game just never ceases to amaze you. They've hardly been in Manchester United's box once. And the first time there's any form of quality, they get punished. It's a fantastic goal. Sisto, we mentioned before, he was the star of the show in the first game. And the players like this could just burst into action. He almost scuffs it into the bottom corner. And I only know too well, you don't have to absolutely hit the ball perfectly when you're in this situation. A little scuff into the corner, great footwork. And as you say, Manchester United are in a lot of trouble. Now look at Yes Torup, the coach there. The Sisto kid has done it again. He scored in Michelin's last chance for the Uruguayan. A good looking cross in that time. Well dealt with by Hansen out to Schneiderlin, who's picked a good looking ball. And there the effort from Memphis to Pai. And luckily for him, he's straight at the keeper. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, though, Ian. The, the cross is just headed out. It's meat and drink for them. But when you pass the ball into feet like that... Matter. Now Memphis. Good so far. Can they finish it? It's an own goal of Buderov. And Manchester United are level. The former Fulham defender gets on the score sheet in a way he wouldn't want at Old Trafford. Yeah, much better. As I say, there we go. Ball into Mata on the edge of the box. And you've got Martial getting in and actually playing the ball. Playing the ball into de decent areas, but with a bit of control, not long, loopy crosses. That's not how Manchester United are going to score tonight. Trying to fizz the ball across, pull the ball back. It's good play all around for Manchester United, and they're back in it. Errors cross, Hansen not really away, Memphis thought about the volley. He's done well to dig out across there, Novak got it behind. There's another very good piece of play by the Dutch international. Yeah, brilliant play. Two men, he managed to just create half a yard for himself. Played in deep towards Schneidman, or Buda off this time, did a very good piece of work. The man who gave away the own goal had to get that right. He did too, and a very good effort. Just past the post from Schneiderlin, that would have been some goal. Well, I thought Schneiderlin was offside there, I must admit. I thought he was coming 
back from an offside position, but linesman didn't give it. You see, it's just fortunate it just wriggles into a little position, but Memphis to pie again. It was a bit on the optimistic side, really. Yeah, you see, at some point it was just going inside. He wants to do everything on his own. Adera with the deep cross. Schneider in, in the post, and bounces away. Well, that one, so close to putting them level in the tie. Herrera goes down, is he going to get the penalty for that? Yes, he is. It will be a spot kick. It looked a penalty. And it is. Ian, I said Roy was having a beast about a minute ago, and that just compounds it. What is he doing? Herrera is certainly just inside the box, and why does he have to dive at that point? He doesn't have to dive in at all. Roymer doesn't know which way. And the goalkeeper makes a great save. And the frustration goes on for United. Just better ball into Mata and a lovely touch there laying it off. But here is Mata and the penalty and it's just not quite close enough to the corner, is it? It's nice and low, nice a bit of pace about it, but it's... Marco Urania. Mata trying to get the delivery right and Schneider in had a big chance and made almost grabbing hold in both arms around Memphis another good piece of play by him Herrera! and that too does not find the target well it was one central midfield player before doing the loop around the back post and here's the other one Again, it's brilliant play from Memphis, and it's just not a difficult chance. I hate the expression, you've got to hit the target, I must admit. But it's criminal to <laughs> head it into the side net and from that distance. Ferreira, good-looking ball in, again Hansen's there, Schneiderlin. Towards Memphis, bouncing around, Matter to cut it back again! Rashford has got the dream goal that he was looking for in his debut and one he will never, ever forget. Written in the stars. Well, what a moment for the youngster. Michelin had plenty of opportunities to clear it. Here's one. Again, it's on that back post. There's a big mistake from Roymer, but when the ball's cut back, you can't dream of the end and a better opportunity. Matter does brilliant to pull it away, pull it back, and he just knocks it in right in the middle and he celebrates where all the families gather just in the corner by that. Wilson. Memphis, quick feet from him. Good covering. He's won it back though. It's Memphis, he deserves a goal tonight. Look at this. It's nearly a special, special goal. He really has turned it on. He's had his critics since he arrived here, but he's putting in a star display tonight. Yeah, when you can go either way, we've all spoken about he likes to cut inside onto that favoured right foot. But when you can go that way as well, then you've got the defender guessing. Lingard again. Towards Varela. Clever movement so far from Manchester United, and there he is again! Marcus Rashford at the double. Some debut this. He couldn't have even dreamt that last night. Well, I can guarantee last night he'd be thinking around this time, 74, 75 minutes. I'll be coming on and maybe I can score the winner. What he didn't bargain for is to be on from the start, bagging a brace and potentially sending Manchester United through to the next round. Brilliant play from Varea. And again, centre forward, you're not looking to place it in the corner when it's bouncing in front of you.
keep it down, hit the target, nine times out of ten. He'll find the net, right place, right time. The manager is allowed to jump up too, I think, at moments like that. OK. Well, they're loving that, and now Manchester United lead in the tie at last. Well, not long forgotten, but less relevant, and there he is again. He's on the end of absolutely everything. Yeah, had to pay this time. Memphis to pay decided not to beat his man. Just knock it into the box. And the Spurs Arsenal key title game. Memphis is at handball by Hansen. Yep, penalty this time. And a yellow as well for the unlucky Kian Hansen. Well, the ball was flying towards that far corner, and you see Hansen's arms are high. Until earlier in the season. And he's put that away brilliantly. That will settle it. Manchester United, after a very, very troubled road, a rocky road, are on their way to the last 16 of the Europa League now. Well, that's how you take a penalty. No question whatsoever. Bang. High, out of reach of the goalkeeper, sends the keeper the wrong way, plenty of pace. And that's game over. As on Monday, it's a good news night for Manchester United. There, Roima. It's surprising, really, he's gone this far without incurring a yellow card, frankly. Yeah. A lot on his plate, isn't he, Michael? <laughs> yeah, that just compounds his night, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's a second yellow. He's gone. And that just about compounds the night of misery for the Michelin right back, Andre Reimer. Started for Southampton earlier on in it as well. It was a splendid effort. But United have had just a bit too much for them tonight, particularly second half. Memphis deserves a goal and gets it too. That's five, and he caps really what was a five-star display from him personally. Yeah, Memphis has answered a lot of questions, a lot of critics tonight. His performance has been right out of the top draw. Man of the match performance, cuts inside. He started the game, cutting inside onto his right foot. He's then drifted along the outside a lot. Set up plenty of chances for his teammates, and then he's finished the game, cutting back inside again. Now that the man that was marking him is off, and blast. Yeah, they're still selling scarves outside with... Jose Mourinho's name on them, but Louis van Gaal can celebrate that performance, so can he. He deserved that fifth goal, but the headlines belong to 18-year-old Marcus Rashford, drafted him at the last moment for his debut because of the injury to Anthony Martial. He scored twice and looked quick and sharp and definitely one for the future. Manchester United are through to the round of 16 and the Danes who pulled off that big upset last week this time well reality has crowded in for them in the end despite them taking the lead on the night with another goal from Pione Sisto their excellent attacker that's the final score then Manchester United go through 6-3 on aggregate 5-1 on a breathless night at Old Trafford It was billed as the biggest of weeks for Louis van Gaal. Three games in three different competitions, and they passed the first two tests.